In Colorado, girls ice hockey is gaining ground and high schoolers want their sport recognized. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio takes us to a state championship game tonight where girls are celebrating a milestone in their journey to grow the game. The girls taking the ice tonight are not only making history, but they're focused on growing the game for future generations. As soon as Emily Louvet could walk, her feet were in skates. So my dad's in Canada, so it's kind of just a gimme. Growing up playing ice hockey in Colorado didn't come without its growing pains. I grew up playing boys hockey, so I've always been on the ice with a whole bunch of smelly dudes. <laughs> That's because girls ice hockey isn't recognized by the Colorado High School Activities Association or CHASA as a girls high school sport. We were very surprised that it seemed to not be as big uh, as some other places. Sam Adler, whose daughter has been playing ice hockey since she was in second grade, moved to Colorado from Minnesota. Minnesota became the first state in the U.S. to sanction girls ice hockey as a high school sport. <laughs> That was back in 1994. But girls in Colorado are growing the game, working to see their sport recognized at a higher level. It'll be great to have that recognition from Chassa and make this a school sport officially. You're watching the first ever Colorado Girls High School Hockey State Championship. Two club teams through Colorado Prep Hockey League. Chatfield Chargers and Castleview Lady Sabercats are showing off their skills on the rink at South Suburban Sports Complex in Highlands Ranch. While this is a major milestone, I think it's very important to the future of the sport and also just the future of any girl's sport. It's breaking the ice for future generations of girls. I feel like there's a bunch of little girls out there who feel a little bit more empowered that they'll have space for them. Like my sister, she's going to be coming up and playing soon. In Highlands Ranch, I'm Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. They are not messing around. Tonight's Castleview Lady Sabercats took home the state title 3-0, and we want to say congratulations to all of those girls. And for some more background, during the 2020-2021 season here in Colorado, unified bowling, girls wrestling, and boys volleyball became sanctioned sports by the Colorado High School Activities Association. Each of those sports went through a rigorous process, which required a pilot season, and they were the first sports to be added since the late 90s.